Hey, yo, 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 mic check, mic check. Hey, can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me in the microphone? Can you guys hear me in the microphone? Can you guys hear me in the microphone? This is Sub Zero. We are back again with another video just for all of you guys. I've had so many of you guys hitting me up on Instagram, commenting, hitting me up on my phone, my telephone, like just everywhere. You guys have been hitting me up. You guys have been wanting me to talk about what is going on, what's going on with the whole cop situation, what's going on with Subaru, where's Subaru at, where am I at, am I keeping the Subaru, am I selling the Subaru? Man, there are so many things that we have to get into with this video. I've been trying to be patient, use this week to really process my thoughts. I really want to have an intellectual conversation about what is going on in my mind mind about what's next for this channel, what's next for this build, um, am I keeping the Subaru, am I going to get another car, am I going to keep a Subaru at some point, am I getting another Subaru, what the heck is going on, so anyway, this is the video you guys are going to definitely want to go ahead and check out, if you guys like the video, hit the like button, if you don't follow the journey, hit the subscribe button, like I always keep saying guys, go after your dreams and make them your reality, let's have a great time guys, let's have a great video, stay motivated, stay together, and let's get it guys, let's get it, peace. All right, guys, so shout out to pretty much everybody in the Subaru community, from Smedia to Alexander Farias, to pretty much anybody that does Subaru content. This has been the talk of the town for the last few months now, actually the last few years, between Subaru and now Cobb, and what the heck is going on, what's gonna be the issues that's gonna come up with the whole Cobb situation, is it even gonna affect you, what's going on with Subaru, you know, they have the Subaru 2022 WRX, you know, the verbiage that they use in the STI, are they coming out with the new STI very shortly that just isn't on the old platform? Are they gonna have something coming out? You know what, man? I've gotten to a point to where this has gotten absolutely ridiculous. I'm getting older and the way I look at things is you wanna invest your money in people that are also investing in you. And when I think about the car brands, when I think about who's actually doing well out there, you got Chevrolet that's doing an amazing job. I have a Corvette, a C7 Z06 2019 that I do track, that I have had multiple Corvettes, and I love the way Chevy represents not only their brand, but how they talk to their customers, how they build cars for what the enthusiasts want. You have Nissan coming up. Nissan, which ironically was non-existent for a while. You know, they had the 370Z for a while. They had the GTR. You know, they had cars that just were like Subaru. They had the same thing forever. They just weren't changing. But you know what they did? They talked to the consumers and they figured out, you know what? Let's bring back the retro. Let's bring back the new Nissan Z, the new Datsun. Let's have some images and some styling from all of the history and all of the years and put it into one. You got Toyota. Toyota went away. But you know what they did? They talked to the consumers. They talked to the, the people that were putting their money, their hard working money into them. You know what they're doing now? Man, we got the Supra. We got the Corolla GR that's coming out. Amazing, three cylinder, 300 horsepower, all wheel drive, wagon, hatch, that everyone's been asking for. They say, you know what, back up, we're gonna make the hatch. The Supra, which is doing amazing, you know what they said, you know what? They want a manual, we're putting a manual transmission into it. Then you go into all the other, I'm not gonna spend your time going into, shoot, there's even Honda, even Honda made sure that yes, the Acura, the Integra is definitely, <laughs> they fell flat on their face, but that's what happens when you build something and you don't have the consumer uh, uh, um, feedback from a company. That's what happens when you build something and do not listen to what the enthusiasts want. That's what happened with the 2022 WRX and that's what happened with the Acura Integra. But the Honda Type R, Toyota, Chevrolet, Nissan, Honda, all have big, big excitement for them that Subaru, unfortunately, does not have. You know what I realized, guys? I have failed Subaru and we all have failed Subaru because we continuously kept buying, kept promoting, and kept doing everything we were doing as far as videos, content, events, everything in support of Subaru without holding them accountable for what they should be doing, which is talking and listening back to us and building something that we all can be very happy for. I can speak for myself. I'm not speaking for all the Subaru community. I respect Subaru. Like I said, I've been trying to be an ambassador for Subaru for years. You know, the biggest thing guys is Subaru is a very niche market, but we have not held Subaru accountable for where Subaru is at, and it's just trickled down to everything. It's just a matter of 
how much can we go? You got the Subaru, no excitement. Now Cobb comes out. Now you know there's gonna be more stuff that's gonna come out that's going to basically make the Subaru non-existent. Why? Because it's not an efficient vehicle. It's a very old vehicle. And they kept putting their money in an old platform instead of doing a good job of renovating and creating a newer platform that can live up to what the standards of the gas, the efficiency, and everything that is needed in society today. I've been a big Subaru enthusiast. You know, I've only started filming my Subaru Escapade back in early 2018. It's been four and a half years of me having literally nothing but Subaru content that has been on this channel consistently for four and a half years. And I have to be honest, guys, there's only so much stuff that you can do with these Subarus because everyone has done the exact same thing. It's, it's the same platform, it's the exact same thing. It's harder and harder to truly differentiate yourself. And honestly, with these cars, because we have, the reason why we have to do that in the aftermarket is it always do so much is because we aren't getting enough from factory from what we're getting out of the box. Yes, it's an amazing transmission. Yes, it's all wheel drive. But what else is there, really? And in the year 2022, with cars truly pushing the boundaries and, and the ceilings and creating new new heights, Subaru has not pushed to truly create an excitement and a vehicle that is up to par with the competition of today. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start holding Subaru accountable. Not just Subaru, not just Cobb, because I get it. The way they did it was very tactless. They could have definitely let us know. I have a bunch of car products that I've been buying, that I've been saving and waiting uh, to put on the STI, but I no longer can do that. So that's a whole nother issue. I don't want to get into it. All I'm going to say is we need to start putting our money where our mouth is. And all I'm going to say is that is why I am selling my STI and I'm going to be moving to another platform temporarily because I want to show that, hey, this is not good enough. Where the WRX 2022 is, is not good enough. Where Subaru is as an enthusiast company, is not good enough. What Cobb did to us is not good enough. You know, I want to invest my money in places that are pushing the boundaries, that are truly having good customer feedback, and you can tell that they're listening and trying to build something that actually matters to the customer. I love Subarus. I am a big fan. One of my favorite Subarus is the Hawkeye. I also like the Blob Eye. Obviously, I've had the Raptor Eye for four and a half years of my WRX and my STI. I have almost 200 and however many videos of Subaru content on this channel. I have gone to so many different events showcasing Subaru. I have tried to become a big brand ambassador for Subaru. Even though they don't want to accept me as a brand ambassador, I have tried my best to truly speak in the best interest of Subaru. So I don't want to be super harsh, super critical of Subaru, but enough is enough. This is the point in time where they have to make a choice, either go fully all left or go fully all right. You either can listen to some of us, you can see some of these videos, you can hear the out, the, the, the cry for something better. You know, I've watched so many of you guys' YouTube videos, uh, even YouTube videos that you guys might not even know, I watched everybody's stuff. Um, just because I truly want to um, understand where the super community is, this could just be my thinking, but I think all of us are just wondering, you know, what happened, what's going on, is this Mitsubishi all over again? Is this the end of the run for Subaru? What's gonna be next for Subaru? We're in left in the dark, they don't talk about anything, they don't tease anything, they don't do a good job of, of reaching out to us. So my biggest thing, like I said, is for now, I am going to be going a different way. So yes, this is not clickbait. I am going to be selling my 2021 Subaru WRX STI in World Rally Blue. I know that I had plans on doing a big community build for this. I appreciate all of you guys for, for assisting with that. As you've seen, I've been listening to what you guys have wanted, um, not only for my channel, but for the build. We were building this together, but I it just came to a point where I don't feel comfortable enough to continuously keep trying and trying and trying to make videos of content on one, a product that has been out for so long that you can kind of already know how the movie's gonna end. 
Eventually, I'm gonna get a rotated turbo. Eventually, we're gonna get a full ETS front mount. Eventually, we're gonna have the same 500, 600. Eventually, we're gonna have to take it to IAG. Eventually, we're gonna have to get a three, stage three block. Blah, 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 blah. Like, it's the same thing over and over and over. What might happen with my channel, I know as far as you guys, um, you got a, a, a few of you guys might not want to subscribe, a few guys might not want to watch, a few guys might call me phony, a few guys might not want to support my channel. But what I want you guys to know is I am someone that truly is trying to be a person of the people. I'm trying to be someone that can speak up and have a voice for all of those that don't have one. You know, my job with this channel is to try and give you guys the best information I can, whether it's reviews, whether it's modifications, whether it's the good and the bad. You know, two of my biggest videos of my YouTube channel, one's something of a bad experience that happened that I hope a lot of you guys learned from, I did, and one is a good experience of just talking about different mods you guys can do. So I really want my channel to be very transparent, but I want it to be fun. You know, I want my content to be fun, to be fresh, to be different, to maybe think about something a little bit more outside the box. I don't want to be tied into just feeling forced to do Subaru content. I love Subaru content, but I don't want to feel like it's so forced that everything has to be Subaru content. You know, I really want to make content. So maybe some of you guys out there might see a Corvette or might see another brand car, or might see this, and might look back and be like, oh, you know what? That's interesting. You know, maybe that might be a car I might want to get into. Or I've seen this car out, but I've never actually like followed a true journey of this vehicle. You know, the biggest thing for me is I want to be someone that gives you guys fun content, but it isn't the same content over and over. I don't wanna make the same videos everyone else has made. I don't wanna make the same routine of the videos. I wanna try and do something that's different. You know, I want you guys to tell me what kind of content you guys are looking for. You guys see different cars, what kind of cards you guys looking for or what kind of modifications you're looking for. The more you guys watch, the more you comment and let me know, the more that I can also reciprocate that emotion, that feeling and that enjoyment back to you guys. So to finish this, just want to say I appreciate all of you guys for following the journey, for supporting the journey, um, for supporting me. Like I said, this is not the end of me and Subaru. This won't be my last Subaru. I've always had a dream of having either a Blob Eye or a Hawkeye. You know, I've always had a dream of converting that to a rally build. I've always had a dream of, of, of doing some cool things with Subaru. But at this moment, I feel like it's just kind of like, not like a timeout, but it's like a come on. Like, we gotta, we gotta expect better if we're ever gonna get better. We haven't gotten one of the biggest things that I know I have seen on the forums, on videos for a long time, and that is a hatchback or wagon type Subaru. They just completely scrapped it, and the one that they brought overseas isn't even in the States. So part of me is wondering, you know, do they even care? Because I know there's a bottom line, and I hope if, Subaru, if someone from Subaru watches this, if someone from Subaru sees this, I hope you understand that everything I'm saying is all in passion. Everything I'm saying is all in just us trying to have engagement, make a conversation, because we haven't had that dialogue. Maybe you've had it with a few people, but for the majority that I have seen videos of, there seems to be a lack of communication on both sides about what the plan is, what the plan of attack is moving forward, and what kind of strategy it is as far as interacting and making sure that this car truly lives up to the ability. Because I believe in Subaru. I have seen some technology from Subaru that blows everybody else out the water. So it just, it baffles me to see kind of the direction that Subaru is going. I really truly just want to make good content for everybody. I appreciate you guys for continuing to follow the journey. I already have plans of my next vehicle. Uh, I think it might surprise a lot of you guys. As far as my DJing, I need a car that gets great gas, that's sporty, that's fun, that you can do different things with, and that some people have kind of done some things on in YouTube, but not really. So I got some cool things coming that I think you guys are gonna really, really enjoy. And if there's an indicator, I know you guys wanna have a hint of the next car. Yo, the hint of the next car, think of the jersey. Look at the jersey and think about what that might mean. Everyone have a great day, a blessed day, y'all. And like I always keep saying, guys, go after your dreams and make them reality and be your own hero because the world needs more heroes and we all got the power to be one. And being a hero, sometimes that means you gotta do things in the dark, be the vigilante, step up and speak your mind when it needs to be said. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe, y'all. Be blessed, be safe. Let's get it, peace.